Let's look at working with colour inside of Photoshop. In our left panel, we have two colours, a foreground and a background. Click the front one and a pop-up will appear. This is the standard colour picker inside of Photoshop. Close this pop-up for now and let's look at colour sampling. In our left panel, select the eyedropper tool and click our image. If you hold the click, you can scan around the image to view its colours. Upon releasing the click, the sampled colour will be added to your foreground colour. Select the Move tool from our left panel or press V on the keyboard. We will open up our shape properties by clicking the top Pantone shape. Once clicked into our fill option, click the rainbow rectangle box to open that standard Photoshop colour picker that we saw before. Navigate to Colour Libraries and make sure on the drop down we've selected Pantone plus Solid Coated. Type the first colour code of 877. This will fill out our swatch and we can click OK to confirm our changes. Now do the same again with the second swatch. The second colour which is sampled from the wood of the table is 7562. Change the text to resemble that new colour code, again being 7562C. Finally, to finish the concept board, due to Stephen Matthewman Knowles has written a description based on our concept board. Click the text tool and using the useful pink lines, draw a text box to fill the space. Open the text file in the asset folder, highlight it all, right click and copy the text. Then right click the text box in our Photoshop canvas and click paste. Click the tick and nudge it into place using the arrow keys. We've completed our concept board. Now let's look at exporting the board as an image file. 